Chief? Yes, Dr. Ronald. Chief? Do you want to tell me something? I'm going to cry. And I just want you to know that I know that it's going to happen. And I just want you to ignore it. And I'm not crying because I'm upset. It's just what happens when I get mad at people of authority. You're mad at me? I'm mad at you. And I'm crying because you're the boss, my boss. Which brings up my issues of authority and my dad, who you kind of remind me of. Well, not that you're old, but you command respect. People respect you. I mean, I know I do, and I know Bailey does, which is why I'm mad. Because it's wrong, sir. It's wrong and mean to use a robot to lure Dr. Bailey back into general surgery because I don't have a robot. All I have are little kids. And they're not as fun as a robot. And they're not shiny and, and new and silver, and they don't have things coming out of their belly buttons. But I will fight you, and I will win. Sir? You think you can fight me and win? Yes. <laughs> Good luck. Because I have something that you don't have. I have joy, sir. Very compelling and very focused presentation, Dr. Robbins. You seem surprised. No, no not at all. No. Did you think I was going to cry? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Torres suggested that I was going to cry as well. <laughs> I think that we should all try to wipe the whole crying thing out of our memories. It happens very rarely. It's embarrassing. And, and frankly, I think that I've got it under control. And the fact that my colleagues see me as the type of person who would burst into tears in the middle of an important professional situation, well, that doesn't make me weepy. That makes me mad, like violent. Makes me want to punch someone. And you know, I mean, I'm the daughter of a Marine, sir, so I was taught to hit as a child. I was taught to hit fast and hit hard, so you only have to hit once. And now I feel like hitting a person or a wall. No, a person. Let's just circle back to the sweet little children. Congratulations. I just heard the big news, and I am so proud of you. Uh -huh. uh, our very own um, Dr. Robbins here has been awarded the prestigious Carter Madison Grant. In your hands, is it impossible? Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll do it. I'll try. Sonna. Dr. Robbins, this is a very sensitive time. Let her be. Let her be. I'm always free for trivia night. Hmm. And I'm free tonight. Uh. <laughs> I'm here to... I wanted to have... I'm trying to... I'm here to meet girls. About trivia. I don't even like trivia. Oh, that's. And then you'd offer to come, and I didn't know how to say no, and I just I didn't want to go it alone. Honestly, it's just it's been a long time, and I'm rusty and nervous, and I feel like I've lived an entire lifetime since the last time I dated. You need a wingman. I'll be right back. Okay. Sit up straight. I need your help. I, you don't need me. You're a smart, confident woman. Stretch your wings, Robbins. Stretch them out. Feel the air. Stretch them out. Yeah. Feel the air. Feel the air. You flew? I crapped. So, how'd it go? Hmm? I mean, so how was it? Did you hit it off? Oh, um, it was fine. Fine? Yeah. Fine. Robbins, we've been at this for a while. What? I facilitated in the introduction of over a dozen women for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm invested in this project. So when the results we're getting are fine, we can do better than that. Um, it was, it was better than fine. It was, uh, 
<laughs> you don't want to hear about this. No, no, no. I think feedback is crucial to our success. That way we can course correct if need be. It was way better than fine. Uh, it turns out that she's in real estate and an insanely good kisser. And she, uh, I mean, she knows her way around the neighborhood. Oh, oh, where'd you go? Everywhere. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? From the hills, the low country, and all around downtown. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm sorry. I got here. No, no. Anyway. I, I, I asked. To know <laughs> this gang's are ready. I worry that if you squander your heart with all of these many frivolous... Whoa, whoa. The thing about being my wingman is you can't also be my dad. Richard, I owe you. I'm too young and too fun to spend the rest of my life alone. And I was, I was too scared to try. But you helped me remember what it was like when I was open and confident and fun. Same place. I've been dreaming about those jalapeno poppers. Mm. Do I look? Do I look hot? You're very hot. Can we go now? <laughs> See you later. Have, right. fun too. Have fun tonight, Deluca. Thanks. Is it like that? You helped me fly. So, good job. Thank you. I gotta fly now. Kelly's moving to New York. What? And she's trying to take Sophia with her. Can't you do that? I just want to lie down. I should, because I'm going to lose this case. I am putting up a losing fight. If you want your daughter, you're going to have to fight like you've never fought. You're going to have to stand up for yourself and believe you deserve it. And I'll see you inside. job to ask my friends to testify. Isn't that the subpoena's job? Well, I imagine you want to know who'd be a sympathetic witness. <laughs> Do I have to ask people to choose sides? <laughs> Just ask your friends to help you out. That's all. Uh, try it. Okay, um, well, I'm, okay, right, I'm gonna see April, so that's in the bag, and then there's Jackson, who's an Avery, so, I mean, if I get them, then I'm good, right? Wait, wait. We have a few minutes. How you feeling? Robbins, it'll be tough. But right now you have to look past the pain to what you'll have when they're done. At the end, you'll have a baby. That's what I tell all the late ring moms. You're not drinking? Oh, okay. Dr. Robbins was already a brilliant pediatric surgeon. But since she's completed her fellowship, I've watched her turn into one of the most renowned fetal surgeons in the country. A child will be lucky to have her as a role model. Can't see I'll be the light